What's up guys, John here from Titan, and today I'm gonna show you guys some of my cooking skills, meal prepping at its best, with my favorite meal there is, and that's steak. Steak is definitely one of the best meals, to me anyway. Um, and, you know, for what you're trying to do for your body and everything that it needs, steak is, has got a lot of great things that are packed into it that can help you day in and day out. One, it's a really good protein source. Two, it's got one of the best amino acid profiles out there. And what does that mean? So that means that it has an abundance of different amino acids in it that will help your body perform better, it'll help it work better, and ultimately get you better results all the way around, day in and day out. Plus, you always need a good protein source. You need protein to keep your muscles strong, to grow muscle, right? Um, you need it for an abundance of other things too. So. We're gonna cook filet mignons today. That's my favorite cut of steak. You might have your favorite cut, but mine's filet. And the reason is, is because it's the leanest cut of steak there is. I don't want a whole bunch of fat on my steak, okay? I know there's some good fats and bad fats, but you don't want a whole bunch of bad fats in your intaking. And if you see a whole bunch of white markings or a whole bunch of marble per se, you're gonna get a lot of fat in it. I know that's supposed to create a lot of flavor, right? And people like flavor with their steaks. But I promise you, if you cook your filet mignons right, you're going to get a lot of flavor out of them. I don't even use steak sauce at all. And they're still juicy and tender, even after I warm them up in the microwave, after I've cooked them at the next day. So let's get into this. Let's talk about how we're going to cook these steaks. All right, so for cooking steaks, I like to keep it real simple. And um, when you put on seasoning and stuff like that, it's ultimately going to affect you. So if you dump a whole bunch of salt on it, it's not going to be good. It might taste a little bit more flavorful, but at that point, you get a lot of sodium along with it. Um, you know, try to pick some other things, but me, I like to keep it real simple, like I said. So I'm going to do like black powder, black pepper powder, excuse me, um, garlic powder, get organic if you want to, or you can cut, um, you can cut garlic up. I know some people have tried to fry it in the past or throw me in the bus saying, why are you going the, the, the short, uh, quick route and doing this? And why don't you just cut it up? Well, because I'm saving a little bit of time. I'm trying to help you guys save time too as well. So that's why I'm telling you that. Um, after that, I will add a little bit of light salt. I'm talking about just a pinch. When you see how much salt I go on there, you go, did you really even add salt, John? Or what's going on here? So these are the three main things I'm going to throw on my steak. Nothing else. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't add some other flavors to your steak or whatever you like. But just don't go crazy. You don't want a whole bunch of seasonings all over your steak. It just is what it is. All right, so let's get down to it. Now, steaks. Depending on where you go for steaks, the market price might be a lot higher or lower, okay? And there's different kinds of steaks you can really go with. So, let's bust out these steaks. Let's see what we got here. So I get my steaks um, from a local restaurant here, um, a local steakhouse. I've just known it for a long time. And this is kind of what they look like when it comes to them. They're all premium wrapped one, one at a time. Um, I take these out just like this. Right? And you might see a little bit of marble in here like this, but this is not that much. So when you cut in here, it's not gonna be real rubbery or anything like that. Let's get to the next one. And I usually cook about 10 steaks every two to three days. Um, every day I'm eating at least two to four well, four of these steaks every day. So two 12 ounce steaks every meal. So it should last me, I would say what, two days, three days. So we've got all these laid out, right? So I think everything's all laid out. I, I wash my hands beforehand. I'm touching these steaks with my hands. I got this blood on my hands. You're gonna to wanna to wash your hands one more time. So it really doesn't matter what you wanna put on first. Me, I'll just put on pepper and a little salt and garlic. All right. Now, I'm gonna flip with one hand and we're back to business. So we have salt, we have garlic, and we have pepper. Now I'm gonna wash my hands one more time before I put these back in and touch the tray. All right, so we're gonna put it in the oven. Now, whether it's electric or gas, doesn't really matter. Um, before I was cooking with a lot of electric because I had that in my old house, now I have gas. 
which is a really nice thing. Um, so I usually put it at 450 to 475, depending on your stove. And what I'm gonna put it at is I'm gonna put it for 30 minutes. 30 minutes is gonna be able to cook these steaks thoroughly. So we're gonna put it in the oven, we're gonna put it in here, 475 on my oven, could be 450 on yours. That's why I used to cook with an electric. And then we're gonna put them in here, we're gonna put them in here for, like I said, 30, you can cook them for 35 minutes if you really want to. Put them in, beautiful. Close that bad boy. We're gonna put the timer on, always wanna put the timer on. So we'll be back here in 35 minutes to check on how these steaks came out. There's my timer. You know what time it is now. Time to eat. Let's see what we got. Let's see how these bad boys came out. I can guarantee you they came out perfect. But I've done this so many times. I've got down to a science. Look at those steaks, man. Look at that. Juicy, ready to go, tender. Cut them to them, they're gonna come off like nothing. Just perfect. Now, if you don't like pink, that's totally fine because you can cook these and heat them up even more. But remember, you're gonna have to heat these up in the microwave unless you're gonna eat all of them at one time. So, if a person likes medium rare, I mean, look at this, man, it's right on spot money, dude. Look at that. So nice. Oh, just look nice pink. So if you like them well done and stuff like that, you might have to cook them a little bit more. But these are prepped, so you can eat them now, and then you can stick them in a the container and then heat them up in the microwave, and they're still not going to be too dry in the middle all the way around. You don't want to eat dry steaks. Like, you just keep chomping. It doesn't taste good. You can get it down, but it's not going to be good. That's going to be good. See the consistency? Every single one of them look like this. You can put these in like meal prep containers and literally take them with you to work or wherever it is and you're set to go, man. You cannot make an excuse. There's not enough time in the day to cook yourself some food. If I can do it, you can do it too. So, just another tip and trick from Titan and me to you guys to help you guys reach your goals, feeling better, look better, perform better, the Titan Medical Center. This is just one of them. And I will cook more meals. Everybody's like, man, I see the steaks, but what else you got in there? So I'll help you guys cook chicken in the next video for you guys. All right. So stay tuned for the next Titan cookie video. For me, John, CEO of Titan Medical Center, I'm going to get to these steaks and start eating them up so I can get my protein in. Hope you are too. Later. Mostly what I do use is the ECAs and I absolutely love them. I love that I've been able to actually come completely off of pre-workout. I love the energy. I love that I don't have a, a crash. I don't get jittery um, feelings. Uh, it also doesn't uh, exasperate my heart condition, which is a, definitely a bonus. <laughs> um, and I'm able to get in a really awesome heavy workout throughout the day as a personal trainer. I'm pretty much going for 10, 12 hours, working out with my clients, I work out for myself. And uh, with the ECAs, it's helped me to lean out. Uh, great, really great. I'm loving the results and enough that I'm doing a contest now for Maximum Cover Girl. So yeah, I love it. <laughs> really excited to try more therapies down the road. I have to say the before and after uh, was actually it was really impressive the results that I got from it and being able to noticeably see the difference uh, in the pump and the volume the definition that I got from using Hercules on a workout. I love being a part of the Titan Medical family. Uh, John and Charisse are amazing. I love the personal touch that they add uh, with everything actually asking how things are going. Um, they really care and for me being passionate and invested in what you're doing and what, what you're putting out there means more to me than just, um, you know, having a name and uh, an idea. This one, they're, they're passionate about it and they care. And not very many people do that 
um, to that level of quality anymore. So being able to be a part of a company that really cares about their clients and customer service is amazing. And I look forward to continue working with Titan Medical for years to come. Blood work is the most important thing to start with if you want to get on a healthy track and live a healthy lifestyle. Why? Because you want to know what's going on inside of you. That is where Titan Medical Center can help you out nationwide, getting in-depth blood work, seeing what's going on inside so you can make an educated decision where you want to go with your health and your life. Contact us today, 727-389-3220. Welcome back to the Bloom Better Health Special. The best way to stay in good health is preventative care. Joining us now to tell us more about health optimization and a better quality of life is advanced registered nurse practitioner, Chanel Unitas with Titan Medical Center. Welcome to Bloom, Chanel. Thanks, Gail, it's nice to be here. So tell me a little bit about your title. What exactly is an advanced registered nurse practitioner? Yeah, so I am a nurse practitioner. I started out as a nurse, which I have been for 12 years. I went back to graduate school six years ago to um, further develop my knowledge base to better treat and care for patients with more assessment skills, diagnostic training, treatments, and developing plan of care. So I do work alongside other doctors and medical providers as well. And I've been at Titan Medical Center for four years. Oh, that's great. So tell us how you actually treat patients. I mean, I know at Titan, you help with so many different areas of bringing people to full body health, and that includes hormone replacement. Yes, so we primarily do hormone replacement therapy. We do also do a lot of medical weight loss, detox, rejuvenation, um, preventative maintenance, as you said, through different vitamin amino acid therapies and detox and peptide therapies as well. And you know, you really do need to go to an expert when it comes to having hormone imbalances because it's a true science. And how can hormone imbalance affect a patient? Yeah, so, um, well, hormones do play a very vital role throughout the body. They act on a lot of different receptors to warrant specific mechanisms throughout the body. Um, and if there is a disruption or an imbalance there, it can cause a lot of different symptoms, um, which would be varied depending on which organ of the endocrine system is being affected. So anything from libido changes, mental cognition, focus, clarity, temperature regulation in the body, fat loss, to name a few. Yeah, so it sounds like optimizing you know, your hormones and getting them back in balance can be a game changer for patients. Absolutely, yes. So, and um, with the hormonal imbalance, sometimes there can be similar symptoms with two different, so for example, thyroid and testosterone or other. Um, Any other issue like that, <laughs> it can really like throw yes. somebody completely off balance and they might not even know that they're dealing with this. It might be something that they don't know why they're feeling sluggish and they don't know why they're, you know, maybe not finding their partner as right. interesting in the bedroom anymore. And it could all just be balanced simply by visiting you at Titan. Yes, so if we can evaluate the hormones properly and determine which hormones are imbalanced, we can correct them that way rather than trying to guess based on you know one symptom that somebody is having. If we get a full picture by evaluating the lab work properly, then we can treat everything accordingly. Now, do you do this with blood work? Yes, so we can have patients actually come in office or go to any lab core request in their area, depending on where they live, and then we would get the results that way, and then we can evaluate it either in person or via telemedicine. Yeah, I was just going to say what's so cool about Titan is that you can come in in person or you can have your visits via telemedicine, right? Yes, and we do service nationwide, so we have a lot of patients, so it works great too because then you don't have to worry about coming into the office. Um, if you do live in another state, we can still service you and um, take care of your needs that way. And the other thing that's really great is that you can get the medications right to a patient's door. Yep, absolutely. So we will send the um, prescriptions to the pharmacy and the pharmacy will fulfill them and send them directly to the patients. You know, I was on your website and it seems very easy to navigate. And again, everything that you address is right there on the front page. So it sounds like it's just pretty simple to log on and make an appointment. 
So you can fill out the new patient paperwork online and then the girls in the office will reach out to the patients and schedule a consultation with one of the providers. Oh, that sounds really incredible. Yeah. And you work with a team of experts, right? Yes. Yep. All right. Well, I'm glad we got to meet one and um, you know, your resume is tremendous and I know everybody is at Titan. So thank you so much for joining us on Bloom today. This is great. Thank you so much for having me. Great way to start 2022. All right. <laughs>What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful little wife over here are bringing you guys awesome tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully entice, improve, and ignite your relationship to whole new levels that maybe you haven't been at for a while or you've never even seen before. And listen, if you're single at this point in time, don't worry. You guys can use some of this great information for your future relationship to hopefully set you guys up for success mm -hmm. all the way through and through. At least on your side, you'll be doing your part. And hopefully your partner will be doing the exact same thing and reciprocating back to you. Hopefully. So this week we have a great topic for you guys. And I think every relationship goes to this topic. And Sharice brought this topic to my attention. I think it was a good one to talk about. Yeah. So it is pressure situations for couples. How you deal with them makes the difference in everything, right. right? And pressure situations come about in relationships all the time. Every single day you might be dealing with something that's has low pressure or high pressure, right? Yeah. But the high pressure and dealing with those things really does determine how the relationship's going to go. So, you know, for us, we were talking about, you know, like, a, a big simple one to go off of is money right that's a that's just not a simple one right i mean because think about it if you guys don't have money which is keeping you comfortable right and even if you do have money it could, it could be a total reversal too but when you don't have money you're gonna be stressed out right because you're trying to figure out how you're gonna make the light bill how are you gonna pay how are you gonna put food on the table mm -hmm. how are you gonna do this how are you gonna do that and when you get in situations like that you tend to take it out on your partner. So instead of you guys working together as a team to accomplish what the problem is and to surpass it, you guys end up utilizing your you know anger and all these other things that are going on and you take it out on each other. Yeah. And that doesn't make it any better. Yeah. It actually makes it 10 times worse. Absolutely. And when I met John, I told them, you know, I, I told him when I met him, I said, listen, I was like, one of the things that my parents, sorry, mom, one of the things that my parents would always argue about in every single argument that they ever had was always about money. Right. And it was blowout arguments. It wasn't like, oh, I'm sorry, what are I? no, 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 no. It was like things throwing out of the house, they, you know, like all the fun things you hear that happened back in the 90s, right? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> the stuff you were able to get away with in the 80s and 90s that you can't do now. Right. But anyways, things thrown, all that fun stuff, and you know, it was big, big fights. So I told John, like, I, that is one thing I don't ever want to fight about. Yeah. I don't ever want to fight about money. Like, if we don't have money, we figure it out. I don't want to fight about it, though. I don't want to argue about where it's going, yeah. who's getting it. I will always want to be straight up about it. Like, if he's going to, you know, in relationships, a big one too, is you know somebody giving money to somebody else without telling your significant other. Right. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. It is a big deal, yeah. right? Because then you'll find out like, oh wait a minute, and this is popular. So you gave your brother, you know, five thousand dollars, like, and now we're short on our bills. Like, do, why'd you do that? Oh well, he needed this for that, and he they're they're really hurting. Well, you didn't talk about it with me, right. and it becomes a problem. Right. So, I mean, this is something big. I mean, it's a big issue that I think a lot of couples either have gone through, will go through, or will go through, right? Unless you are aware of it yeah. and you just don't allow it to happen. Like unchecked spending, right. right? So, I mean, it couldn't just be you're giving somebody money that you might not have or it's going to take you guys a lot to recuperate from. Or it could be spending from shopping, right? Spending money ain't got. You're making stupid um, you know, mistakes as far as with your money, like whether you're buying drinks for everybody that's out or you're buying dinner for everybody that's out um you're doing things that aren't in your budget you know and that could cause a big issue and rift at home big time um especially if your partner's not on board even if they are on board you know if they're agreeing to it and they know it's wrong ultimately it's not going to affect you guys right that single point but later on down the line where all the bills are due 
and then you guys are fighting. Well, you do want to do this. You did this. Uh, well, why did you do this? And why did you spend on this? Well, I told you not to do this. These are going to create unwanted issues with your relationship. And some of these things could be breaking. Financial um, situations with couples break. They do. It's like one of the. It's one of the most. Um, it's one of the most basic things that break up relationships. My parents Excuse got me. divorced over that. Yeah, financial situations with relationships never hardly work unless both partners get on board about what they want to do. And that's how you guys should yep. be. You guys should be on the same page thinking about things, right? Communication. And it doesn't mean that you can't spend things like go shopping or whatever it is, but you have to set budgets aside for that. And then you have like your own little money, like, oh, listen, I can spend a hundred dollars on this, right. um, and I can I can do this, and this is not going to affect our budget or our plans or our goals. And as you're a couple and you're developing as a couple and you're you're growing together, uh, whether you're getting married or you're having kids or whatever it is, you want to start leveling up, right? And that means you know if you're renting an apartment right now, you want to try to get a home, right? And that point, you're going to need some down payment money, right? You're going to have to bring that credit score up. You guys are going to have to be good together. So at that point, you guys are working towards that goal. So set the together. goals. Because at that point, if you don't set the goals together, you guys aren't going to be on the same page and you guys aren't going to be working together. And when you guys set these goals together, keep each other accountable of what that goal is. Remind yourselves every single day, like this is where we want to go and this is what we want to be. Mm -hmm. This will make you better ultimately as a couple and all the way around, financially wise too as mm -hmm. well. 100%. Um, high pressure situations though, this could be something at work too, right? You have a high pressure situation at work where you have to meet this deadline, you have to come through with this, and this could be affecting your home, right? Um, we got, you know, we got a, a you know, a, a guest speaker yesterday with Tim Grover coming here. And, yeah, that's cool. On, on virtual and, and talking to us about some of these things. And, you know, when he's talking about pressure situations, this is what makes a difference with, with people. When right? you, what decisions you make them, right? when you're going through the pressure situations. Right. That's when I had brought up to the staff, because it's good, we've been open for 10 years, right? Mm -hmm. When I brought up to the staff, I'm like, listen, you know, everybody gets to see all the glitz and glamour and all this cool stuff that we've got now, right? But it wasn't like that 10 years ago. You right. know, 10 years ago, me and John, we went through some really hard times right. together, you right. know? And, you know, we, we've had our fights. Yeah. This is, we've never not fought. You know, do we get past it? Yeah, we get past it. But, you know, we we were down and out you know I mean I was in a bad car accident I lost my job because I couldn't work you know then we had to go I had to go on unemployment you know it was just it was not a good situation and we had just had Peter Peter was like two years old right. and it was like okay so what are we gonna do right and there was a lot of other moving components that were bad at the time yeah. that were going against us with the Absolutely. house and this and that so it was all one time and when you're under that much stress and that much pressure it's it's one of those what do you do when your back's against the wall? Right. Right? Yeah. You do do what are you gonna do? Are you gonna are you gonna sit and crumble and cry about it? Yeah. Or are you gonna get up, surpass it? and go figure out a solution, yeah. right? Because you can complain all day long, boo-hoo. Right. Yeah, everybody has a boo-hoo story. Everybody has a boo-hoo <laughs> this. I know everybody's got a boo-hoo book bag, but I'm telling you, you could boo-hoo all day. It doesn't give you the solution that you're looking for. Right. And you don't want to take it out on your partner. The whole point is that me and him, we worked as a team to get to where we were trying to go, you know, and figure out, okay, so what are we going to do to pay the bills? Right. What, what, what do you got up your sleeve, John? Because I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> yeah. So we went through our hard times, but, you know, it made me think, too, like, you know, wow. I mean, it was pretty stressful in those time frames, you Absolutely. know? I mean, so stressful, you may, like, you might have just wanted to go to bed. Didn't even want to, you know, get down that night because you're so stressed. You're tired. You're exhausted it's mentally, tough. emotionally, physically. You yeah. know, it's in that situation you're gonna have to pick and choose your days on who's gonna pick up who that day because yep. both of you guys can't be down right. because if one both of you guys are down neither one of you guys can pick each other up that's right so one of you guys got to stand up yep. one of you guys yep. and then maybe the next day the person the other person can sit down and then the next person stands up but that's called teamwork right and if, if you're having to pick your partner up that's fine but if it comes to a point where you're picking them up every single day, it's time for them to get that kick in the butt. Yeah, kick. Because they need to get up. Get up. And when you guys are both up and working together, that's when all the success comes. It you know, you can get by, you know, some days here or there, like let's say she's down to pick her up or I'm down, she picks me up. That's fine for a day and you can get past that. Mm -hmm. But ultimately to be successful, you guys both gotta get up and motivate each other to be better in everything you guys are doing out there. Uh, and to get past the situation or scenario. I mean, even for us, right, at that point in time, that's when we started tightening. 
and that's not when pressure just let off. <laughs> that actually increased more pressure. <laughs> like, hey, listen, this is either do or die. We're either going to do this or we don't really have a game plan of what it's going to be. And it's going to be an ultimate fail. Mm -hmm. and there's going to be some negative consequences that are going to be coming along with this. Mm -hmm. So you got to make sure you're giving maximum effort. And you got to make sure that, listen, nothing is guaranteed in life, but you got to make it so it's an educated decision where you've, like, basically looked at everything that's around you and like this is the best possible it's a calculated scenario. decision you're making it is a calculated decision so at that point you guys are making you know the best decision you possibly can with the information that you have um but yeah that's that's really where it's at i mean being together as a couple getting past these pressure situations and at that point it will make you guys ultimately better all the way around through and through 100 yeah. percent. communicate communicate and both of you guys being negative at the same time never works so it, there's got to be a balance somewhere in there. The yin and yang. Me and John have always been, you know, we're the unstoppable. I will say we're the unstoppable yeah. team, you know, because we are the yin and yang of each other. You know, me and him are polar opposites, but we're really actually the same. I know that sounds so weird, right? Yeah, right? But it's really weird. We are. We're totally opposite, but not really. So, you know, we make a good, a good little match, you know. So, you know, with your person out there, whoever you're with, you know, see where you guys fit in together, where it fits like this, you know, and then make it work and move forward. Yeah. And it was, a, it was a good example we heard from Tim Grover yesterday, like, you know, diamonds. Everybody likes diamonds, but how yeah, are diamonds that. created? Through pressure. Yep. Right? Pressure, that's, that's how it happens. So, yeah. you know, a lot of magic happens with pressure situations and how you get past those situations together. And that's when true success really comes. Um, don't let it break you guys. That, that's another thing. It's really easy to quit. Mm -hmm. right? It's really easy to say, well, I just can't do this no more. You know, I'm going to go, I'm, I'm going to go find a sugar daddy. Bye. I'm done. Right. You know, like, this is just not going to work for me. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't have to be, just like you said, financial. It could be any high pressure situation. Right. It's just the most common one is financial for couples out there. Yeah. So get past it. Um, set goals for each other. Make sure you guys are setting yourself accountable for each other too as well. And make sure you guys are hitting those goals. So that's the biggest thing I can say to anybody out there. You got to write them down, write them down. Don't just say them. Write them down. Talk about it, right? Throw it out there to the universe and hopefully it'll bring it back to you. What's that but, called again? But don't wait on What's it. What's it called? I, I, the thing, I, the magic thing. Yeah, I know. It's like... Uh, they did the documentary. Come on. I, I can't remember what Manifestation. it is. Yeah, manifesting. Yeah, manifesting. Manifestation. It is. So you're, you're manifesting. I am yeah. manifesting. But you're not waiting on it to come to you, right? A you're million to dollars to be on my front doorstep yeah. tomorrow. Man, that'd be awesome. Boom. There it is. I wish I could hear psych. the jackpot. That is psych. Billion or something like that. Yeah, manifest means get up and go get it. Yeah, go up <laughs> and get it, right? And uh, set the steps that you guys need to do to get there, too. It's not just setting that goal like, I'm going to get this. Like, what are you going to do to get to it, right? A, B, C, D, and E. All the way up the, the ladder. So you guys are making sure you guys are hitting one step at a time, and you guys are on the way to that goal, right? Progressing. So... I hope this has helped you guys out. I hope you guys get past your high pressure situations. Um, there's a lot of them out there, especially right now in these times we're in. Mm -hmm. So at that point, don't worry. And, and don't think that you know people down the street might not have been in the scenario that you're in. Me and Sharice have been in the scenario a lot of people have been in. Been so there. at that point, we're talking from experience, guys. We love you guys. Every Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC, me and Sharice will be here talking about the, the great things that we can to help you guys out relationships. And don't worry, guys. If you guys didn't get to watch us live, that's our bell because we're past time. Got to go back to work. But <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. And come check us out every Sunday, ABC, 11 a.m., right? And if you guys didn't get to watch it live, DVR it. And if you missed that too, don't worry. Just go over to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center. You get to see this show and a lot of other cool content that we have for you guys. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you next Sunday on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.